All right, my lovely friends. Happy December 19th. We're checking into the Sleepy Forest Cottages here in Big Bear, California for quite a few nights for the storm. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Hit the like and subscribe button. Hook a brother up. So anyway, yeah, we're turning right here on Eureka. So it's right in between 7-Eleven and McDonald's. This is the street you turn on to get to Sleepy Hollow. I'll probably be posting this video after we check out, but I wanted you guys to, uh, I, well, I'm excited about this. I get to do another, another lodging video. So here we are. This is it right here. Sleepy Forest Cottages. All right, so I gotta, I'm gonna make a U-turn up here and figure out exactly where our cabin is. So hang tight real quick, guys, all right? I'll be right back with you. Enjoy the Sleepy Forest Cottages, folks. Okay, so we are turning in now to Sleepy Forest Cottages. I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way because it's reflecting too much. And I don't like reflection. All right, let's see here. Clearly the office is to the right because that's what it says. So let's see here, we are in, I know which one we're at here. I think, just give me a moment. Okay. There we go. This is my parking spot. All right, cool. So let's hang tight until we go for the tour. Okay, so here we go. Number six and number seven are attached right here. Here's number five. Here, let's get a nice look at this little cute little little area here. It's gonna be really, really pretty with some snow on the ground, so I'm excited about that. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Number six. Let's see. Sweet. All right, let's do the initial tour together. Wow, this is really cute already. What are you laughing at me for, bird? Okay. Oh, we got a fold-out bed here. Or not a fold-out, a futon, it looks like. Let's get some light on the situation here. Just bear with me, guys. Let me get this one open as well. I can't find a place to do that. Okay, well, we'll get it figured out. Very cool, so when you walk in, right when you walk in to the left is the bathroom. Let's uh, take a little quick tour of the restroom here. Hey, I know that guy right there. Okay. So very, very cool. We got nice, fresh, clean towels, as you would expect. Wow, pretty cool little shower. I was hoping there was a bathtub. Oh, smokes, look at that, there is, yes. A jacuzzi in the room, folks. So this is a pretty good sized room. We even have a fireplace. I'm gonna look into that and see if we need to purchase our own wood or if it's an electric fireplace. But yeah, let me, once again, I'm not able to open these. Okay, I'm struggling. I'll get that figured out. Those pieces that open it up and close it are broken. But it is what it is. Let's see here. Let me try and get these lights above us turned on. Just bear with me. I think this light switch will do something. All right, there's that. And I'm wondering. Well, we'll take a quick look at the little, the little bar they have here for us. Microwave, which is great. I've been on a microwave chicken tikka masala thing lately. But how do I turn that on? There's gotta be a light switch. Does anybody see a light switch? I already tried this, but I'll try it again. No, that light switch doesn't work. Maybe 
There we go. See, I'm pretty smart, guys. I'm pretty darn smart. So this is the room. This is the room. And because we're staying on a Friday night, and I think Thursday is a little more expensive. I'm not 100% sure, but I know a lot of the resorts up here consider Thursday night a weekend, which is kind of ridiculous. So it costs you more money. But if we would have stayed during the week, it would have been, I think, I think it showed like 61 or $65 a night. So that's a really great price. But because of the weekend stay, we're paying $152 per night. And I'm using a company called Affirm to pay for it, which means that I didn't have to come out of pocket at all. Not at all, guys. Uh, and after 30 days, then they start charging me and I picked the 12 month payment program. So there's a little bit of interest they don't run your credit, so it, it's it's pretty awesome. It makes it so 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 I can do this, and I'm excited about it. So yeah, about 600 bucks for the four nights. And again, uh, yeah, this is this is where we are going to be. Got a little tiny TV. Wish it was larger, but that's okay. I will survive. It's about spending time with my beautiful wife and enjoying the snowstorm. All right. Let me just, uh, what is that? What is this? Oh, that's the fireplace. Oh, sweet. Got the fireplace going. Look at that, guys. Look at that. All right, so we're going to take a little walk around this property. It's pretty cool. You don't need a key. They just give you the passcode to get in. So that's pretty neat. Let's see here. We've got a couple little chairs out here. Let me see who's who's blowing me up. Sounds good. I will definitely let you guys know where she ends up parking. And I got into the room, checked everything out. Everything seems pretty, pretty good so far. The little plastic to open the blinds is missing on both of the blinds, but we will get it figured out. I just didn't know if you guys were aware of that. It's not a big deal. All right, guys, so we're gonna take a cruise through here. So as I said, there's number seven right there, attached to number six. I think it's gonna be a nice getaway. And then, as I said, you're just right down the street from McDonald's. I don't eat that anymore, thankfully, at least for now. So this is, this is, I. I believe, yeah, the office is down here. So we're going to just come out here to Eureka Street. Yeah, pretty cool. I like how we're deep in the back there. Keeps it private. All right, so. This would be the office over here. Where it has that cool sleepy forest sign right there. That's great. And I need to find where they were talking about parking for my wife because we only get one parking spot. So let me just take a look here. We're just gonna walk around the little block here. We're right next to this big park where that car just crossed down there at the stop sign. If you make a left, the park's on your right-hand side and it's right on the lake. <coughs> oh, it smells so wintry right now, guys. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells so wintry. Well, cool. We are at the Sleepy Forest Cottages. And again, if you choose to stay during the weekday, you'll get hooked up a lot more than if you pick any weekend nights. So try to do that. 
as I said, I think it was like 60 something dollars per night. I don't know if it was for the same room, but they had something available for 60 bucks a night. Take a walk down this walking path here. Okay, this is employee parking right here. Okay, perfect. Obviously, we can't get to these parking spots back here. But yeah, pretty cool. It'll be a nice little vacation. A staycation. check one more thing real quickly okay so they said there's parking numbers here I don't see any numbers anyway the walk to the office is mighty short nothing to stress out about and again come up here you guys come enjoy yourselves come give yourself a break I can't stress enough try to stay here during the weekdays Maybe check in on a Sunday because Sundays through Wednesday nights are usually the cheapest anywhere you go up here. Okay, well, this is it. I think we're done with our tour. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. I'm excited to add this to our lodging videos as part of your Big Bear experience. And uh, if you have any questions about this place, don't hesitate to ask. I'll have the information down below in the description. <clears throat> the name, address, phone number, website, all that stuff. Okay, guys? In the meantime, have a great rest of your day and get ready for the winter storm. We just got issued a winter storm watch. It goes into effect Thursday night through Saturday morning. So there's a possibility of a foot of snow above 7,000 feet from that point, Thursday night to Saturday morning. Fingers, fingers crossed. Peace out, you guys. I love you very much. Please like and subscribe. Help me out. I would appreciate it. And I will continue investing money in these places to show you guys. Peace out, you guys. I love you very much. I'll talk to you later.